All right, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm going to be doing the monthly horoscope forecast for all the zodiac signs for the month of November 2018. Welcome back. If this is the first time that you're tuning into my channel, please go ahead and take this time to hit the, re the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon, so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish on this channel. Also, if this is the first time that um, you know that you're you're listening, uh, be sure to check out my other shows. I have uh, the Tea with Spirit show. It airs out airs every Monday, and basically it's the psychic version of Dear Abby. Uh, and what I do is I give spiritual advice or the tea from Spirit, uh, answering you know people's questions from all over the world. They submit me one question to my email address. Uh, if you have a, a pressing question, you can send that. Uh, to my email. It's Raymond Guzman at hotmail.com and the subject line of your email put tea with spirit and the body of your email be very specific with your question and then include an alias. If your question is selected to be read on air, it will be read and um, due to confidentiality purposes, I won't be reading your real name. So if you don't give me an alias, I'll just say anonymous, but I'll still read your question. Um, so I look forward to seeing that from you. If you're interested in a private reading with me. I do offer private readings. You can go to my website, which is listed here on every slide. It's www.raymondguzman.net. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and my handle is at Psychic Medium Ray. So let's go ahead and get into the horoscopes for this month. We're going to start with the sign of Aries. So Aries, this month for you, there's a lot that you're not saying. There's secrets that you're holding on to. There's something in your life right now uh, through the month of November that has you kind of on edge and wanting to keep that element a surprise. There's something that you're going to be doing. This could be around your work um, area or even in your love life area that you're wanting to change um, and, or you, you are going to embark on something new. I wanna say this is revolving more around your work life because a lot of you are very dedicated. And I see that you um, do do well you know, in earning your money. Uh, you, you don't have a problem in that area. This month in particular, you could be coming into extra money. A lot of you could be working extra hard uh, in reaping those rewards or have that money already there, but you're, are kind of, um, you may have someone in your family or someone who, you know, a partner that is being kind of nosy. They want to know exactly how much you have in your bank account if you have separate accounts, or they're wanting for you to maybe use your money to spend, you know, on them. Um, but you're very protective of that. And so Spirit is saying, be very protective of your money. You have reasons to feel like this and to be like this right now. There's also a lot of changes that are going on on every level, but mainly on a spiritual and physical level, you are changing. Your body may be changing. You may be going through changes hormonally. Um, you may be going through diets. Uh, there's something that you are trying to take on a level of wellness to get, you know, get your body and your mind and spirit right. Um, and this is something that you've been working on perhaps throughout the whole year, but you haven't had that consistency or that dedication, but now you are more dedicated to this. There's also a lot of sexual energy and communication going on with love life and partners. So those of you that are single, you could be finding that, you know, someone is making advances or moves towards you, showing that they're interested. For those of you that would be in a relationship, this would be with your partner. Maybe you showing them how much you care, um, going on a romantic date night, trying to basically spice up your love life in some kind of way. Uh, and bring back some spontaneity uh, in your love life. And that's something that we will see uh, very much so this month. Um, also, a lot of you would be finding that this month of November that you are very um, tapping into your mystical side, your magical side. So a lot of you that are listening that perhaps are interested in Wiccan, you know, culture or pagan traditions, there's going to be a lot of focus on that. Maybe you're reading, um, you know, some books on that, or you're looking at YouTube channels and you're, you know, you're coming across videos that explain how to do certain things. Um, there's just a lot of focus on that right now. And it's not a bad thing. Um, it just, it's, it's like your curiosity has been sparked by this. So there's a lot of good energy that surrounds you this month, but for the most part, everything looks pretty positive. I don't, see negativity for the sign of Aries. Um, you know, but every sign, you know, my horoscopes are 
impossible to appeal to every single person because a lot of you out there would be going through different situations. But for the most part, this is what I see. So, um, yeah, I want to thank you for tuning in. This is the horoscope for the sign of Aries. All right. So um, the next sign is the sign of Taurus, and for the month of Tor uh, for the month of November for the sign of Taurus, this month there's going to be a lot of focus on around a person that you care about. This is a male uh, in your life, so if you're a male, you know this would be your partner, uh, your your spouse, your you know your husband, someone there. If you're a female, this would be your husband, your brother, you know someone in your life that's a, uh, has a great influence on you. A lot of you are stuck in a third party situation, meaning that um, this could be around your love life that, you know, you have a partner, but they are immersed with someone else or tied to someone else and they're giving to both of you. Uh, and while you know that the situation is not conducive to your well-being, you're still allowing that to happen because you do have a lot of great love for this person. Um, this could also be feeling like in your workspace for a lot of you out there, uh, Torians, you could be feeling that maybe your boss is giving, is not being equal um, or hasn't been equal in the past uh, on the you know, assignments or the work that they are giving. Perhaps, you know, if you work in retail or customer service or giving more hours to another employee or overtime and they're not offering that overtime to you or giving you those hours but things are coming to a shift things are going to be changing this month where you'll be noticing there's more e equality there's more balance um, but still you know a lot of you could feel be disconcerted and feel like you know this situation is not good for your well-being you need to um, to change that and so a lot of you will be finding that there's a lot of conflict around um, around your life this month of November. And you know, I don't sugarcoat anything uh, in these horoscopes. So I'm um, just being very brutally honest what's what's gonna be happening this month. A lot of you Torians would be uh, expecting, uh, and you know, I don't take any pleasure in giving this message, but a lot of you would be expecting a lot of conflict with family. So around holiday times, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, the holidays, a lot of you may not be feeling this holiday, you know, as good. You may not want to go Black Friday shopping. You may not want to, you know, decorate for Christmas during the month of November. A lot of you are not, are just not vibing with this month. This month is going to be something where it, the first part is very intense and it's very emotional. Uh, it is going to take a toll on a lot of you. And, you know, part of that is because the Venus retrograde doesn't end until November 16th. So, um, you know, that's that's part of the contribution to the energy. The other part is that, you know, like I said, there are disagreements or there are wounds that have not been healed um, when it comes to your family life and, you know, uh, relationships. This could be even friendships. There's wounds that have not been addressed or have not been healed that need to be, you know, discussed. They need to be healed. And the only way that you can do this is to, um, to sit down and have those conversations with the people, you know, that have hurt you in some kind of way uh, and kind of, you know, hash it out and really just uh, make some peace there. Um, but right now you may, may be feeling like you're not in peace. There's a lot of emotions that you're suppressing, things that you're not saying you're holding on to. This can cause a lot of uh, coping mechanisms that are unhealthy this month, whether it's, you know, drinking a cup of alcohol, you know, a day uh, of wine, and then that turns into three cups or four cups, you know, in a week. Um, you know, and I'm not talking about like little sips of wine, you know, I'm talking about like going through bottles and stuff like that. So just be mindful, you know, on where your, your mind and heart is. If you're not feeling, um, very good you may need to talk to someone there's also this feeling of accomplishment with your finances so with your finances everything seems to be good for some of you some of you may be finding some struggles with your finances but there is a lot of heartache this month a lot of uh there could be a potential breakups separations even divorces that occur this month uh this is a month where you kind of want to you know tread lightly uh and not be confrontational, try to avoid arguments, try to meditate, ground, cleanse your area, your space, sage. If you're going out to places, you know, carry your protective crystals. Uh, but basically, yeah, th this is uh, a lot of intense energy. But towards the end of the month, things start to lighten up a lot. Um, going into, you know, Thanksgiving and Black Friday and going into the month of December, things seem to get a lot better. But for the most part, this is the energy that surrounds uh, Taurus for the month of November 
of 2018. All right, for Gemini, welcome Gemini for the month of November 2018. Let's see what's in store for us. So this month for us, Geminis, um, there is a lot of choices that are having to be made. You could be feeling like you're going into um, this month feeling like there's, you know, you're you're not sure of the outcome. And the thing that kind of terrifies Geminis a lot, and I'm speaking from experience because I'm a Gemini myself, uh, is that the fact that we may not like the unknown we like we don't like the element of surprise all the time being that we're um someone with minds that are always communicating at 100 miles per hour there's a lot of we're very good at multitasking there's things that we want to know um and, you know we may be able to help other people with their you know future insight and stuff like that but when it comes to us there could be a situation this month right now that you're going into november that kind of um is pulling at your heartstring. This could be uncertainty around a relationship, a friendship. Uh, this could be an uncertainty regarding uh, a spouse and their financial state or their uh, employment. Um, there's something that is kind of stealing your peace and it has you making a decision. Is there something that you can possibly do? Um, and you will be finding that there are two choices or two paths that you can take, two options. One would be to distance yourself from everyone or ev or that situation completely. And the other one is to to be present, to be in a state of presence, uh, uh, be present and be available and be supportive and nurture and love yourself and self-love. There's two options. You can run away or you can face it and confront your fears. This month is going to be a lot of about confronting your fears, Gemini. It's going to be about you really coming to the point of listening to your heart, your soul, and finally saying, you know what, I'm brave enough and I have the courage to continue. So there's a lot of soul searching, a lot of healing. There is a lot of focus around money. A lot of you Geminis out there that would be listening, even myself, the fear, the greatest fear that we probably have right now is around your finances. That's the fear that you have. You want to have money. You want to be sure that you're financially stable. Um, and you may not feel like you you are there yet. And um, you need some kind of reassurance from the universe. Talk to your angels. Meditate. There's going to be a lot that you are going to notice that is going to be uncovered. You're going to find solutions. There's going to be people that want to help you. Friends. There's going to be ideas generating this month. There is a strong male energy that is coming into your life more present. Uh, if they are, you already know this person, this could be a friend. But there is a um, basically a relationship or a friendship that where this male um, is very um, well off. They are very um, business-like and they have a good mentality and they want to help you in some kind of way. They are going to kind of give you some ideas, give you some, some pointers. It could just be a conversation that you have with them and it sparks a whole set of ideas. So pay attention to the conversations and interactions that you have with this male. This could also be a female that is very in touch with her masculine side that uh you know could be confused her energy could be confused as someone masculine but whoever this person is there's a lot of wise counsel there's a lot of of good um feedback and basically wisdom there's a, an, an innate knowingness and wisdom that this person carries and so you need to pay attention to it you may also be feeling like you're a little defeated later this month like someone has you know the upper hand um and it's not the way that it seems even though it they may seem like they won something or they got you know their jollies of putting you down or making you feel inferior basically they've created bad karma for themselves and by you walking away it's a redirection so a lot of you would be could could be experiencing some form of rejection whether this is in your love life your work life if you, a lot of you that are trying to maybe get out of an old job and apply for a new job if you are being you know uh rejected or you're just you know they're playing mind games with you just know that it is a redirect any re rejection is a redirection from the universe um, to something greater, something that's meant to be. And this opportunity or, you know, situation was not meant to be for you. So a lot of you will be finding that towards the end of the month, you need to rest. You know, that's kind of 
I laugh at that because I'm a Gemini myself and we hardly ever rest. Like there's rest is not in our vocabulary. That's not one of our our words that we can really use. But um, spirit does want you to take care of your body because a lot of us could be experiencing health issues um, from flus, just sinus infections. Our immune system could be a little weaker uh, because when we are just going, 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 we don't you know, give our body tender, loving care. And we need to do that. So set up a spa appointment, set up a massage session. Um, but if you have a, a, mas a massage chair and, you know, ex those executive chairs that, uh, that you have for your home office that come in with built in, you know, massage, um, capabilities, then, you know, look into purchasing something like that. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars going to these facilities or these places when you can do it from home, you know. So just treat yourself in some kind of way, and that's going to help you with your energy and your mind and your heart and uh, bring you back to a place where you are focused on the love and what's most important for you. Uh, you know, and like I said, this month is not going to feel a lot for a lot of these signs uh, of the zodiac signs. It's not going to feel a lot like holidays. There's going to be a lot of stress and things that, you know, that we can't avoid, but we can control how we react to certain situations. And that's the greatest message this month for uh, many, uh, if not all the signs. Uh, it's basically, you know, controlling our emotions and the way we respond to things we can't control other people and we're not responsible for anyone else but for ourselves and so that's the greatest message for this month for the uh, sign of gemini All right, for the sign of cancer for this month of November 2018, uh, a lot of you are feeling like you are more fulfilled going into this month in a lot of your areas uh, where your life, love life is concerned, your family life, and maybe even your work life. A lot of you have been working extremely hard throughout the whole year. This year is a little bit more chill. It's a little bit more relaxed uh, this month for uh, a lot of the cancer signs. Uh, many of you will be finding that you have, you know, more time and tranquility in your life to think about things clearly, think about the things that you want to do or achieve going into 2019. A lot of you will be sitting and uh, reassessing your financial state, uh, reassessing, you know, what, you know, what you, where you are financially uh, and what you can do to, you know, uh, increase that going into the 2019. Um, so this month is very positive for that. A lot of you this month that are cancer signs, cancerian, you would be finding that you will, a lot of you are moving away from a situation or moving away from your, your home. There's, uh, there's travel, there's movement. Uh, a lot of you could be, you know, deciding to move locations, uh, purchase your new, uh, your first home for the very first time and moving in, uh, or, you know, seeking a new apartment and moving into that. There's a lot of movement and progression, and basically there's a lot of fears behind that. Um, anytime that a person moves, you know, we, we go through fears of, you know, will I be able to make it in this new, new place? Will I be able to be okay and basically spirit is saying yes you will uh and there is also a lot of your uh someone that is supportive and this comes across as like a love relationship so a lot of you that would be with someone right now um you may be finding that there's a lot of comfort uh you know given in a lot of um of balance in your relationship that brings you to a state of accepting you know all the blessings that are around you and you need to be in a state of 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 gratefulness this month in particular and be grateful for all your blessings as big and small uh, because when you're able to do that it kind of clears and opens the road for blessings and other positive things to manifest in your life um, there are celebrations this month uh, things that you could be celebrating are accomplishments maybe uh, an award uh, maybe a promotion maybe an engagement a lot of you will be getting engaged or will be attending weddings or, you know, there may be a baby shower for someone who's who's pregnant. There's a lot of different uh, areas of celebration, um, but it's, it's positive. And, um, you know, your relationship going into, for those of you that are in a relationship uh, and those of you that are not, uh, there is a lot of key energy that is highlighted this month around your love life and a lot of uh, peaceful 
uh, energy and good times. So a lot of you may um, be staying closer to home during the holidays, spending quality time with your loved one. Uh, a lot of you may be traveling to go and see a loved one out there um, that may be in a different state. Uh, or you may be taking a vacation somewhere, you know, but there is a lot of good uh, vibes and good energy that is surrounding this month of November and a lot of um, intense energy, even your dreams could be impacted where you are finding that you are getting a lot of messages and you're not understanding what are some of these messages that you're receiving in your dreams trying to keep a dream journal and you can refer back to it uh and write down anything that stood out the most you know in your dreams so that is the horoscope for this month for the sign of cancer All right, for the sign of Leo for this month of November 2018, Leo, there's a lot of battles going into November 2018. There's a lot of conflict uh, around your life. Your this is, could be around your family, uh, your ex. Um, this is an inner and outer battle. You're battling things on the inside of yourself. You're not happy with yourself. A lot of you are uh, put a facade on the outside. You're happy and people the way that you know you want people to see you in a certain manner. Uh, and you may be fear fearing judgment, you know, and letting people know that how you truly feel. A lot of you are depressed or battling depression, battling addictions, battling some something. There's an inner battle that is going on deep with inside of your inner psyche. And it's allowing your shadow self to emerge. So this month you could be losing control in certain situations. You could be going off on people and it's a very dangerous thing. So the reason that I'm bringing this to the forefront in these horoscope readings, is I'm very raw and very, um, I don't sugarcoat anything is because this information needs to come out to you so that you can use it and create this level of awareness uh, to change certain patterns and things that you may be finding that will be holding true to the situation. But basically, Spirit is saying that there's a lot of your shadow side that is emerging and it can lead you to do reckless things, whether it's retaliate against someone that has hurt you or people that have hurt you. This could be leading to arguments, you know, and it can possibly have legal impact. So you need to be very careful with what you are doing um, and not letting anger or frustration or past hurt and resentment to take over your light side. You need to fight the darkness within you because we all have a dark side and a light side and it's going to be something that if you are able to do that you may not feel com completely you know to the point where you feel happy but there is there is a uh, protection from a higher power but you need to turn to your light side meditate you know uh write down a petition in your writing things that you know that people that have hurt you burn it and then throw the ashes outside basically releasing it to the universe you need to release a lot of these feelings a lot of you are good at suppressing them holding on to them and it's playing uh with your mind it's causing mental distress uh, which can lead, like I said, to something reckless. Um, you are seeking justice. A lot of you are seek are see out there that are seeking, you know, that have been wrong, uh, wrong has been done to you uh, in the past and even now in the present. A lot of you are seeking karma. You're seeking, you know, you a lot. That's why I said a lot of you may be wanting to take action in your own hands and play you know, God, and you know, you don't need to do that. Karma is aware of it. And so a lot of you this month may um, be noticing that, you know, karma is is coming to play you will be seeing certain things that you possibly didn't think were possible people being held accountable for their past behaviors in some kind of way and that news will circulate back to you there is this feeling also that you are uh, needing to walk away from a job or a job is causing you a lot of distress uh, you may be feeling trapped and even though they are there are you know perks and benefits a lot of you are just not happy you're not happy with your job you're not happy with the stress and it's affecting uh your home situation the way that you handle your you know your children your family your spouse um your partner you know if you're not even in a, uh, married you know but it there's a lot of things that are are highlighted around your work life and needing to just like kind of walk away from it you need to spend some quality time taking care of yourself doing things that you enjoy uh, and not be so focused on what you don't have right now in your life and what you want to have you can't force that and that's what spirit is saying basically not to force it there is also um later in the month you are going to be coming into some very intense energy you are going to be finding that um 
perhaps you are, are you know, taking a stand. Uh, the way that your energy comes across, it could be very authoritative. Uh, someone who, you know, is, is keeping secrets as well, not, you know, being very fruitful and very uh, open to people. And it could be that you are just putting, you know, this this uh, level of uh of hardness in your heart and soul but spirit is basically telling you that you need to kind of release that energy and not close yourself up uh in a way where you're not able to feel you know you need to be able to feel the emotions and go through them uh a lot of you that are single out there you may be finding that there are some relationships or dates that you're going on or people that are interested in you um a lot of you also could be feeling later in the month that there is someone that you need to be careful with. This is a, a male energy, and this person could be very underhanded and a smooth talker, but they could be trying to take things from you, whether this is your time and energy, but there's it's almost like an energy vampire in many ways, and you need to kind of protect yourself and isolate yourself from that situation, and once you do that, then things are going to be moving forward, but this person um, that is in your life, uh, for some of you, this may apply. Uh, this person is very underhanded and sneaky. Uh, and so you just need to be careful with that energy because that energy can leave you feeling very drained and um, feeling worse than, you know, when the month began. So just be very mindful of that. There's uh, This person carries a lot of darkness and a lot of light at the same time. But there's a lot of secrets, lies, deception, backstabbing Um that this person, you know, usually they are, um, they've done it before to other people, so they know how to get away with it, uh, and they they know how to get what they want um, through, you know, their their charm. And so basically, you just need to be very aware and careful of that. But other than that, that is the horoscope for this month of November for the sign of Leo. All right, for the sign of Virgo for this month of November 2018, a lot of you Virgos out there would be experiencing uh, a lot of hard work. A lot of you are going into this month of November um, working very hard still. There's a lot of things that you need to clear out. There's uh, some loose ends that you need to tie up because many of you are possibly planning on maybe going on a vacation, taking some time off towards the end of the month. And so there's a lot of things that you need to be very meticulous about and just work hard during the first part of this month the first 15 days of this month in particular um, need to be of you you know really focusing and honing in on that energy uh, a lot of you also could be finding that there's a lot of communication between you and a partner or a potential you know friend that 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 relationship is evolving there's a lot about you know your love life evolving uh, and going maybe to the next level perhaps you and your you know your um, your friend who you have feelings more than a friend for uh, are developing Developing and evolving. Um, so a lot of you could be stuck in a situation right now where there's a lot of fear, a lot of past hurt that you're still clinging to and you feel like you're battling that but you can't fully be happy until you know you have some kind of proof or validation from the universe. And basically the universe is telling you that you need to conquer those demons and conquer those fears so that you can ultimately reach towards you know your next phase in your life. Um, a lot of you are trapped in fear and idly sitting by and just watching things, watching other people be happy and comparing your, your life to them, but you're not taking the initiative to change things. Those people that are experiencing happiness in their life, they did certain things in their life to uh, reach that level. And so Spirit is reminding you that you need to also do certain things in your life to reach that level of happiness. You can't just sit at home and hope that, you know, that everything is going to be like a fairy tale and things are just going to magically get better, you know, with a click of a finger. That This is not how, you know, life works. It's not realistic. We have to work hard uh, and just cannot be, you know, pondering and thinking about a situation. We have to take action. So Spirit is telling you that there may be something that is holding you back. It could be fear about, you know, going into something, but Spirit is saying you need to just go forward, take a leap of faith, have uh, take the risk and just walk into it, you know, uh, and letting the energy flow as it as it may. 
Um, and when you do this, a lot of you will be noticing that you're are much happier. Uh, it's ushering new beginnings for a lot of you, even though this year has not been finished. Uh, there's a lot of planning for 2019. And so a lot of you could be, you know, spending some time. A lot of you may be traveling to a foreign country this month or traveling to a different part of the United States to visit family. Um, and, and, you know, during your travels, you may find that there is someone, especially if you're single, um, you won't be single for long. There would be someone that may may uh, be interested in trying to offer you or extend, you know, some type of uh, relationship that they want to have with you. Um, so just pay attention to all of that energy. And this is a very interesting month for the sign of Virgo. All right, for the sign of Libra for this month of 2000, November 2018, um, what we're going to be seeing for the sign of Libra is that going into the month of uh, November, there is a lot of pain. There's a lot of heartache. There is a feeling of being betrayed and backstabbed. Uh, there's someone that is is not being honest with you there is someone who is being very deceptive and i think for many you know many people that would be going through this whether this is a partner a family member a lot of times our love blinds us and makes us feel like you know that this is impossible no this is not happening to me this can happen to other people but it's not going to happen to me and i think that's a lot of self-talk and a, a lot of uh people you know just thinking that perhaps it's their imagination and that this is not really occurring but in reality spirit is saying that there is a level of caution that you are needing there's a level of awareness that you are needing and you just can't see it but you may be feeling this you know and happening in different ways a lot of you may be very intuitive and in picking up that there is something you know you may be finding that your partner is cheating on you with someone else a lot of you may be going through you know your best friend betraying you with your your ex partner or you know or or with your current partner there could be you know um an employee that you work with a co-worker that is wanting another uh, a position you're both wanting the same position but they're going to play dirty and try to rat you out to a superior or to kind of tarnish your name you know throw you under the bus on something so you just need to be very careful with the way that you are uh, articulating and you know your your speech and the actions that you take this month they need to come from an area of love uh and um and just be very much aware you know if you're feeling like someone is off their energy their energy is not good trust that feeling and that vibe because that's your higher self talking to you um a lot of you that are single out there may be uh, noticing this month is going to be a month in which you, you know, are starting now to focus a little bit more on your love life. You may, be, may have been, you know, neglecting that part of your life, uh, basically putting on the back burner. But Spirit is saying that there is some key highlighted information that is going to be coming to the surface regarding your love life. So a lot of you may be noticing that there's an opportunity this month for love, if, but you need to go out there and change things about yourself. A lot of you are just kind of fearful or just don't want to experience the same pain that you maybe have experienced with a past partner. Um, there are a lot of choices this month around your career. You're going to be thinking a lot heavily, Libra, this month about your career, where you're at right now. There's other things and opportunities that you want to delve into, different projects. This could be self-employment, going into spiritual work, going into, you know, um, Wiccan work. There is a lot of magic work, you know, that you, you could be going into. But basically, there's a, a lot of options that are being presented to you by spirit and it's like time also a part of you is shifting and going into a new uh, a new you you're being almost reborn in many ways so a lot of you could be very emotional this month and purging you could have moments when you just sit down and you're crying you don't know why you're crying or your eyes start watering and tearing up and you're not sure why you're going through these emotions uh, and basically spirit is saying that this is a time of purging and releasing a lot of this uh, unwanted energy that is old stagnant energy that no longer be belongs in your aura no longer belongs in yourself so if you are feeling like doubts of depression bouts of depression and Perhaps like you're feeling despair, just know these are temporary feelings, but there is a lot of changes. You are also considering your money where your money is concerned. There's two different options. Perhaps this is a new purchase that you just made, but you're feeling like there's crunches in your finances and there's something else that you want for the holidays, maybe around Black Friday. A lot of you that would be shopping holiday deals for Christmas, you know, there's something, but Spirit is basically saying don't sacrifice your, your happiness or your 
you know, your financials, your financial state uh, to make someone else happy. You need to put yourself first. And I know that may sound kind of selfish, but self-love is not selfish. And so if it's going to hurt you, don't do it. That's what spirit is saying. It's don't do it. If it's going to hurt your financial, you know, your pocketbook, don't do it. Um, you know, just kind of weigh your options and uh, hold off on it for a little bit longer. Uh, a lot of you may be finding that your sleep patterns this month are very much uh, changed. You may have difficulty sleeping at night. You're thinking about a situation specifically around your love life. For those of you that may be in a relationship and there's, you're going through separation or um, you know that you, you may suspect that they're cheating on you or something is just, you know, there's just distance created uh, for whatever reason. Maybe they're not being communicated. There's no communication and you're waiting for that text message. You're waiting for that, you know, that phone call. Um, this is going to keep you up at night and you're wondering, asking the universe, why are you going through this right now? Why? Why are you experiencing pain when you've been through enough pain in your life? Uh, and basically, you know, the answer to that is that it's all based on lessons. The universe knows what, what it's doing. Um, we have blueprints and soul contracts before being born into this earth. So there's a, re a rhyme and a reason why you're going through this. There is always a, a, a blessing and a greater purpose from this. And it basically is going to make you stronger and realize you're going to realize at the end of this how strong you really are. But you need to keep the faith. Um, your home life is going to feel very distraught. Uh, very chaotic. There's going to be changes, things that you need to change in your home life to bring more peace to yourself, whether this is giving other other people that live with you responsibilities, giving them, uh, you know, chores to do or having them help you financially if they're capable and they're adults living in the same household. But for whatever reason, they're being lazy. They don't want to go out and work or you know, uh, have a stream of income, you're going to have to set your foot down and show tough love and really let these people know, whoever it is, that, you know, you, this cannot continue. You need help. You can't be carrying the burden or the financial re responsibility for the entire family members or the people living in the same household. So, yeah, this month is going to be very intense for you, Libra, but at the end of it, you're going to come across very stronger and going into the month of December, you're going to uh, feel very positive because you um, will have worked through all of these things that I've mentioned. Uh, and again, this may not apply to every single Libra out there, but for a lot of you, you'll be, you know, if not everything, you know, there will be some key highlighted areas here that I mentioned that you would be covering and um, coming across and overcoming these obstacles. So. This is the horoscope for the sign of Libra. All right, for the sign of Scorpio for the month of November 2018. Scorpio, this month is going to be a very, very positive month, very upbeat. I'm very excited for all my Scorpions out there uh, listening. Um, this is going to be a very, very positive month. You start off the month very strong going into the month of November. This is your month. This is your birth month, you know, uh, for the most part. A lot of you Scorpios out there are going to be feeling your magic. You're going to be feeling powerful, more confident. You're going to be... Uh, basically feeling uh, like, you know, no one can conquer you. You're the one that is the conqueror. You are tapping in more into your masculine energy this month, whether you're a female or you're a male, your masculine energy is coming to the forefront. There's a lot of things that you're cutting out of your life, people, situations, you're taking charge, you're being the leader this month. Um, and you're finally putting your foot, you know, uh, uh, standing your ground and basically letting people know that you're not a pushover. You're not going to allow certain situations to continue. And through this, you're going to derive uh, to a place of happiness and contentment because your emotions are going to be more balanced. People are going to respond to you this month in particular to your um your leadership and your your bravery, you know, your courage, you are very courageous um, and you're, you come across, you know, being able to overcome any hurdles this month, uh, whether this is in your work life. A lot of you will be changing jobs. A lot of you will be um, moving as well, if you know, from one location to the other. A lot of you also could be um, trying to take a bigger stand in your relationships, in your love life. Uh, if there's someone, if for those of you that are single, you could be, you know, interested in someone and you may be professing your love to them or giving them signs. There could be a lot of flirtatious energy that is being exchanged. For those of you that are with a partner this month, uh, there could be some, you know, key conversations that you're having. Maybe, you know, you spicing things up and maybe having a romantic getaway for the weekend, you know, somewhere. 
um, there is a, a, a moment where you are kind of contemplating what is your next move. Uh, you are going deep within this month into your inner psyche and considering all of your options, where you're at right now in life, where you want to be in 2019, what needs to change. There is um, a feeling also with your finances that things are a lot better. A lot of you Scorpios are very good with money and managing it. Um, so a lot of you are just assessing right now, you know, what is the next step for you? But there's a lot of positivity, a lot of movement, a lot of reasons to celebrate this month. And, um, you know, a lot of people may be judging you. A lot of people may be wanting to, you know, be argumentative. They may not like your energy. And, you know, it could be people that are at a lower vibration that are unhappy with their life. And, you know, when people are unhappy with their life, they try to bring you into their drama or try to make you feel unhappy because they want you to feel what they feel. Um, but basically that is their illusion and their perception and you don't need to be a part of it. So be sure to protect your energy and know when you need to, you know, kind of uh, just move away from that. You don't need to be part of it, especially this month. There's a lot of reasons to celebrate than to, you know, be uh, gloomy or in a, uh, a very depressive state. So um, this is the horoscope for the sign of Scorpio for November. All right, Sagittarius, for this month of November, for the sign of Sagittarius, what we're seeing for Sagittarius this month is basically spirit is saying that there is an ending. As you go into the month of November, you know that there's a situation in your life that no longer serves you. This is not lo no longer bringing you peace. There needs to be some changes. So a lot of you could be leaving a job behind, leaving a relationship behind, um, but it's opening doors for a new beginning. Uh, a lot of you may that are leaving, you know, the past behind. Behind, you're embarking on a new path. A lot of you that are single out there um, or recently, you know, uh, you know, have been in a relationship with someone else, you could be taking that relationship to the next level. It seems that someone wants to offer you more. They want to give you more of their time and dedication and their energy. So there could be a lot of getaways, you know, trips that are being planned, uh, romantic um, dinners, date nights. There could be gifts that are being given. Some of you may be getting engaged and not even knowing it. Uh, this month, there could be some surprise you know, parties that are being thrown, uh, good invitations, whatever energy is surrounding you, it's good energy this month. It's very positive. But at the same time, it has you thinking, you know, about a lot of the darker things that have happened to you in the in your life. You could be, you know, kind of in a little bit of de a depressive state. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You are going to feel like a little depressed. You could be feeling a little reserved in certain aspects of your life. But Spirit is wanting you to cut through all of that. And basically, they are saying that you are going to be very successful uh, in controlling your emotions and there's a lot of growth that you're going through right now um, spiritually and also uh, on a physical level. Um, your mind, body, and soul is more at peace, more aligned. Um, so a lot of you are basically clearing energy and clearing you know, your pathway to greater blessings. Uh, but again, around your love life, there is a lot that is highlighted, a lot of positivity, a lot of happiness uh, for the month of November for the sign of Sagittarius. All right, for the sign of Capricorn for this month of November, um, this month for you, Capricorn, there is a lot of focus around your finances. A lot of you are in a good finance financial state. A lot of you could be getting bonuses early for Christmas through the month of November. You could be getting commissions paid out. Um, there's a lot of uh, you, you, a lot of you that could be getting your money from your grants, you know, from your school grants, your Pell grants, or scholarships. You know, money that is there for you. There's um, a lot of talk about money, and that's where your your main thoughts are going to be for this month. A lot of you have been working hard. Um, there's also a feeling that you need to there's going to be some kind of battle going on right now uh, in your personal life, whether this is a relationship or with family members, but basically it's like you going head to head and battling and you come out of this um, situation not feeling the best. You feel like you are very hurt, uh, very much drained. This is draining you. It's taken a lot out of you and it's like you, even though you may come out, you will come out, not may, if you 
you will come out of this successful and having the upper hand. But at the same time, it's like you're walking away feeling very depleted. So so you're just basically wanting you to reassess your, your, your energy. If you're going through some daily battles with someone, whether it's a family member, these are arguments or these are disagreements, um, a, a lot of it could be your fault too. And that's how spirit is positioning it. You know, how you're responding to these energies and the situations depends on you. You are responsible for yourself, not for other people. Even though somebody may treat you in a horrible way, you don't have to respond to them back and feed that situation. You can walk away peacefully. So spirit is basically telling you if you're able to achieve that, then there's going to be a, a greater sense of peace and knowingness uh, for yourself. But a lot of you may choose to do the opposite and confront because that's maybe how you've been conditioned to, you know, stand up for yourself, uh, which is nothing wrong. That's not anything wrong, you know, to stand up for yourself, but kind of pick and choose your battles carefully. You know, if someone is being petty and it's something that's you could just easily let roll off your back, you know, let it roll. Don't, you know, take on that energy because you don't want to ruin the holidays. You don't want to ruin, you know, other family members feelings around you. You want to kind of, you know look at the at the greater picture but at the end of the month you know you you tend to kind of just do that and just go with the flow and that's the best thing that you can do for yourself and it will bring you a lot more of inner peace and um resilience going into the month of december all right aquarius for the month of november 2018 Right now, um, you could be finding that this month of, of November for you, Aquarius, is going to be a very intense month. Um, the holidays are typically not your favorite time of the year for a lot of you. Um, there's a lot of maybe painful memories, you know, things that from the past that kind of come up. A lot of you may be, you know, trying to hide a lot of your true feelings around this situation with the holidays and the energy. But there's a lot of, of feelings right now that you are trapped in a situation. This could be a financial situation or a project that you have been in and perhaps it's it's not, you know, produced the fruit that you would have wanted. Or there has been a lot of uh of heartache, a lot of going back and forth. It's a feeling that you are bound to someone or to a project or some area in your life, but it doesn't bring you the ultimate happiness. Um, this is also affecting your this is affecting your um, your ability to communicate effectively. A lot of you could be fearful of you know feeling um, true love. Um, maybe that scares you a lot and so you could be thinking that there is someone in your life who that you may be with now that is not fulfilling you completely there could be someone out there a potential partner you know that is out there that um is is a potential um mate but there's a lot of areas around your love life that have you kind of confused this month in searching for greater meaning greater depth um you know money's not a problem for a lot of you Again, this is not going to apply to every Aquarius out there because everyone is living in a different, you know, life uh, style and having a different, you know, different uh, core principles and whatnot. But for a lot of you Aquarians out there, um, money is not a problem, but there is a lot of, of you moving away from a darker relationship. Um, so a lot of you could actually be ending a relationship or creating distance. There's a lot of darkness in your past and you're purifying a lot of that energy. Uh, and ready to focus more on your finances and your your you know your um your work life, but there is also a lot of key uh, energy highlighted you going into um, your love life. So it's like a lot of you are still living in the past. It's kind of confusing how to explain this without it sounding confusing. But a lot of you are still holding on to painful memories of the past. There is something in your love life that you feel bound to someone or responsible. You don't want to hurt them, but the, yet you're not fully fulfilled and happy. So a lot of you are gravitating towards true love and to uh, someone that uh, brings you a lot of happiness and light. Um, this could also be shifts within a relationship. For those of you that may not be leaving a relationship, you know, or leaving a person, there could be a shift in the relationship that is bringing more light and clarity. But um, for the most part, what it feels like is that you're leaving an old relationship behind um, and going in, you know, very, um, very carefully into 
a new friendship or relationship and uh, it's it's a lot of good positive energy there um, it's like going into a soulmate type of situation um, but there is a lot of fear behind this but spirit is basically telling you to not be fearful a lot of you know what you want you know how to get it you're very charming very careful with your words there is a certain level of deception that you do carry um, spirit is wanting you to be aware because there are people that are very uh, in tune with their spiritual abilities and can see past those walls that you put up and things that are not being said so there's not there's very little that you can hide from certain people and these people may um just be expecting or waiting to hear it from you you know you to speak the truth or to come out with it but um a lot of you are very fearful and very careful with what part of your life you're wanting other people to know but again the the hidden is not going to be hidden for long there's a lot of layers that are being stripped away from you this month a lot of purity a lot of purification a lot of of you basically stepping into a greater state of happiness uh someone that brings you happiness um so a lot of you could be soul searching a lot of you may be spending some few days alone by yourself or decide to you know go with what's more comfortable for you but it may not bring you the happiness if you choose that going with what you know staying with what is more comfortable with you you have to take a risk and basically that is what spirit is basically saying so there's a lot highlighted this month around not being happy in a relationship in your love life not being happy perhaps in your work life and you're questioning and asking yourself you know why am i going through this haven't i been through enough already you know why is this happening and spirit is basically saying that this, these are all lessons and um when you come out of it going into the month of december you are going to feel a lot stronger and have a lot of more mental clarity uh, and revelations regarding the different aspects in your life and where how you need to proceed but basically you need to trust the higher power and that's the message for the sign of Aquarius all right for the sign of Pisces for November 2018 a lot of you are going into the month of November um, facing um, some situations right now where um, you could be holding a mask um, wearing a mask or someone could, in your life could be wearing a mask and you feel like they're not you know being very uh, honest with you you may not be very honest right now with um, what you're feeling you know you don't want to hurt anyone and you don't know how to maybe um, communicate this but basically spirit is saying that your true feelings are masked um, and that that mask needs to fall away and that you need to just speak your truth and stand in your authenticity um, there are going to be situations this month in which you could be getting into um, an argument and this could have already happened in the end of October with disagreements or um, you know may not be intimate with your partner if for those of you that would be in a relationship there are some some um, some things that are shifting in a relationship there are some mood swings there are things that you are feeling very deeply that in that may disturb you even though you may be with someone right now you could be feeling that they are thinking of someone else or they have a lot of uh, you know they may be very flirtatious or there could be other people that uh that they are keeping a secret from you um and really you know communicating secretly with those people and may not be just one person but multiple people and on a deep innate level you could be f realizing that you're not the only one kind of like the sam smith songs i'm not the only one that's kind of the situation that you are facing right now with your love life and your uh, you know any relationship or friendship that has a certain level of intimacy right now um, the best thing that you can do is be very um, clear with what you are feeling uh, speak your mind don't be afraid to you know speak your truth and how you feel and how it makes you feel those of you that are going through some job changes you are going to succeed spirit is saying that you are going to be okay financially you're going to be okay right now a lot of you are not happy at your current job you're not feeling fulfilled you wanting you're wanting to maybe go away um get away from all of this madness perhaps even thinking of moving from you know where you're currently living a lot of you are not happy you're even though yes it may be the city life or you may be surrounded by a lot of people a lot of you may be yearning on a deeper level but you've been denying this or lying to yourself that you know you're you're happy and you're not happy um, a lot of you may be deciding to 
take a trip to back to your roots, to your hometown or your city to meet up with family and kind of really kind of test the waters and see, you know, should you be, you know, going back home or should you be going back to your roots? There is a lot of to contemplate here, but you're not happy in many areas of your life. Um, however, Spirit is saying that you are going to be rewarded in your financial uh, and professional areas. So those of you that are thinking of being self-employed or working hard towards, uh, you know, a certain project, this is going to be very fruitful. And there's going to be a lot of changes that happen this month for you. It's not a month where you're just going to sit back and kind of let things flow. No, you're going to go into it and be very, very meticulous and very much strategic in everything so you may be putting a lot of your social life on hold this month to make room for these winds of change that are coming through very strongly um you may also be feeling like you are finally in a place where you're you don't fear you know the unknown you're coming into it with logic with common sense you're coming into this with um a sense of knowingness. This could be your sixth sense speaking to you and picking up and um, you're tuning into that and tuning into the higher power and they're letting you know that it's going to be okay. You may also have a best friend that is very spiritual. This could be a guru, a spiritual advisor, a healer, a psychic, a medium, someone that you may want to reach out to to get some clarification going into the new year or going into the month of December. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of questions that you may be having right now, but whatever it is, it's good that you're questioning it. It's good that you're acknowledging it. You're not in a state of denial. And that's the dangerous part to be in a state of denial. A lot of Pisces out there are in a state of denial and don't want to acknowledge, you know, things that need to change in their life because they fear, you know, if they acknowledge it, that it's going to cause, you know, more problems in their life. But that's not the case with you. So spirit really um, is acknowledging that and is re really proud of you for how far you've come. And they want you to be proud of yourself as well and to practice self-love. That is very important, very important for you. So this was the horoscope for the sign of Pisces. Um, overall, I want to thank everyone for tuning into my channel. If you did like this video, please give, give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Be sure to pick up my copy of my new book, Starseed Footsteps. It is available on Amazon.com. I have sold out twice on that uh, website for the book. So if you go there and you see that it shows one to three months um, to get fulfilled, um, I am working with the with the facility to get that, you know, um, restocked as soon as possible. You can order an autograph copy personally from my website and it will be shipped out within the allotted time. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited, um, for, you know, this month of November for all of the signs, there's going to be a lot of positive positivity and a lot of things that we all need to work through. So again, blessings and love and light have an amazing November, everyone. Bye.